today I'm going to be making one of my favorite quick lunches. This is perfect for people on a low carb diet or the ketogenic diet and it even works if you're gluten free. This is my take on an egg drop soup. This is not by any means a traditional egg drop soup recipe. This is just something I sort of came up with one day when I was hungry and I didn't have a lot of options in the house. The ingredients you're going to need are eggs, chicken broth, and then the seasonings of your choice. I'm using black pepper, soy sauce, onion powder, and garlic powder. This recipe is great because you can make as much or as little as you want. The ratio I use is one egg per one cup of chicken broth. So I'm going to be using two cups of chicken broth today. So I'm also going to be using two eggs. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the saucepan so it can start to boil. Next I'm going to crack my eggs. The seasoning is entirely up to you. I am adding a splash of soy sauce. I don't have measurements. A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of black pepper. And then I'm going to sort of, you know, just like you're making scrambled eggs, beat the eggs. Next I'm going to season the broth just a little bit by adding some granulated garlic or garlic powder. Just a little bit. And a little bit of onion powder. And then I'm just going to wait for this to come to a boil. Okay, so now that the water is boiling, we're going to take our egg mixture and slowly pour it in while stirring. I hope I can catch all of this on camera. And this actually does work better with chopsticks. I just can't find my chopsticks right now. So pour in slowly and stir. Can you even see what I'm doing? There we go. So I'm going to give that just a second to cook. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn it off because it's hot enough and then it's ready to serve. And here it is. Now if you had some green onions, you could put those on top and it would be so good. I just don't have any right now. But look at that. It makes a delicious quick and easy lunch. It takes just a few minutes. The longest part is waiting for the broth to boil. This is so simple. I think you'll really love it. If you try it, let me know and tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I would love to see the pictures. So if you like this recipe, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you'd like to see more quick and easy lunch ideas, let me know in the comment section below. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.